mind it's got to be frustrating eli that's got to be that's got to be a hit to the heart a little bit frustrating for sure but at the same time you, you got to get some confidence from like man we actually almost won that like i kind of feel like that's what i could hear lethal saying right now like they actually let us almost win that like that's embarrassing <laughs> you know what i mean like <laughs> you can kind like of lethal. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can kind of flip it into a positive right I, yeah I, i'm always one to find the silver lining i feel like the guys on sentinels are too but this is going to be a very interesting fast paced game we're going to see an early trip cap from optic who have camo shock in the hands of formal once again how many times has this guy had a camo sniper in this series oh he's gonna end up falling there you saw boo boo right that just holding down crouch while strafing to avoid that shot that's gonna put the shock rifle down inside of the pipes and i believe now it's in the hands of dead zone we haven't seen much dead zone today i'm excited to see how he kind of starts this game off gets the clean up on the lethal Shock rifle in his hands. Falcon put down to no shields. The assist comes through. Some great communication here onto the squad. And you see, it's going to be dead zone taking space onto A while Sentinels get C. Try to land the headshot. Not quite prepared for that player to walk out onto catwalk. Take some heavy grenade damage as well. You can already see Sentinels have plans to break into A, but uh, Formal's here to kind of reinforce the position. Multiple members in the tower side, and with damage advantage, Optic pounce, but that's two dead on both sides. Can Sentinels take advantage of the situation and get into A? I love this play by Dead Zone, right? He tries to double wow. push there. Boo Boo shuts him down somehow. A massive kill is going to give Sentinels that A side control, and Boo Boo's aware of those spawns as well. What a beautiful play by Boo Boo. I don't, it looked like a beautiful play, but it also looked a little bit like a new network jank to me. I'm sure Dead Zone had something to say about uh, where he ended after the melee. It looked like his melee pushed him through to the other side and also didn't connect at the same time. So I don't know. Weird looking fight there. Ultimately, Booba going to take advantage of it. The thing is, yeah, you're going to get lucky in this game, but what do you do with the situation when you do get lucky? Do you get the most out of it? I feel like Booba is that type of guy. He's going to make sure that he capitalizes on his good fortune. With camo coming up, it's three down for the side of Sentinels, and you see Trippy with that camo already pushing down to that bottom tower side. It's precision all by himself. They'll take him out pretty cleanly. Still a lot of camo to work with. Wait a minute, though. It's gonna be lethal, I believe. Trippy just running around. Save me, says Trippy, as Dead Zone comes in to be his helping hand, and he'll continue on here. As Boo Boo is on the A side and Optic are just two wanting everything from the side of Sentinels right now. It's always a 2v1 situation and Optic with that numbers advantage really taking on these fights and now I have a triple cap locked in. Exactly right. Precision was in a situation there. Had Formal in front of him, dead zone behind him. Ends up finding the trade, which is pretty good in a 2v1 situation, but it's not going to be enough. Still a trip cap on the side of Optic. Lucid's here to protect C and shuts down Boo Boo, the first spawner. And that feels like that kill right there should cement a much longer trip cap hold as Sentinels continue to be in the blender. Optic are present on every corner of this map and they are not letting Sentinels breathe. They're also forcing Sentinels to spawn far away from one another so they don't even have a chance to get out of it. Yeah, I, I was going to say the same thing. I, I love that, right? There's a little bit of a, a split a split spawn on that pipe side, but regardless, they take that full control of CNA. They're still maintaining that control here. 150 points here for Optic Gaming. Finally, it's a little bit of life here out of Sentinels. As that camel's coming up in about 22 seconds, it's going to be important for that seaside mm -hmm. control. And that big win from Lucid, once again, might guarantee this camo, but they have to deal with Boo Boo again as well. That was a big win from Lucid. If Lethal wins that fight, it would look like Sentinels could have held on to scoring position for a bit longer, but as he goes down, it's familiar territory for Optic. Back in scoring position. This camo's up, though. Sentinels look to be in prime position, sending two players down here. Boo Boo's going to be the one to put it in the suit. Precision and aggressively push into A with Falcated. Lethal was there as well, so two members of Optic go down. Boo Boo one shot with oh. the camo. He's going to get grenaded out. But can Falcated pick up the pieces in this fight and ultimately Cap B, we'll have to see. Yeah, he's trying to speed it up, speed up the pace to get take care of those weak players. Shields do come up, but Falcated's still able to get that kill. And with Shock Rifle, he's going to pick that up as well and potentially going to get B, Trippy. Going to take some damage from, from the platform, what? but he ends up staying alive for a moment, ends up going down. But regardless, that's Shock Rifle down as well. Falcated not able to utilize that and Sentinel's still in scoring position. 
I love the way Sindels is, is playing this situation. They're totally content with holding AC. Don't feel the need to try to force a B grab at all. Just let Optic spawn in pipes. If you spawn in pipes, you've got two options. You either go long haul or you go into A. Looks like Sentinel's able to defend against both sides. When Falcata goes down on the long haul, Lethal shows up to reinforce the position. And it's clear that Optic want to capture C before they do anything else. They look like they're going to do so, but can Sentinels flip B in the process? Yeah, great pressure by Trippy right there to take out that player on the bottom of blue pipes. But like you said, that'll give Optic C. You see Sentinels, though, inching forward for it. It's Lucid, the only one in a defensive position to stop this push from the side of Sentinels. And you'll have some help here. As you see, Optic Gaming pushing the tower side. They have a presence. They have tower side presence. And Lucid has been alive on the C side this entire time. Gets a trade, guarantees the triple cap. So impressive from Optic. They just... I think they're predicting, you know, what Sentinels want to go for, and they're just shutting them down every time. They're in the perfect positions to make life difficult every step of the way. Now it's Sentinels, the one spawning in gold, and have to decide, do we want to go for A or do we want to go for C? Looks like A is going to be the first choice, but they take heavy damage. They've got to back up. As they get their shields back, this just means Optic scoring even further, but they're kind of pressured. They have to play out to go down, but with the clock dwindling down, Optic only needing a few more seconds. They have to make a play right here, right now. Yeah, you saw Precision trying to play out, like you said, going towards that blue pipe side, but they read it immediately. And they also read the presence on the B as well. It'll be A, the last ditch effort here for Sentinels, but look at Formal already on the B, already shock rifle camo combination, the fourth, fifth, sixth time we've seen this in his hands. This is unreal. It's almost like Formal said, you know what? The only reason these guys ever beat us is because this boo-boo guy gets the camo and the shock rifle every time. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get the camo and the shock rifle every time because I'm tired of dying to him. And wow, 17 and eight.